Hey, Radiance Lover, you are welcome again to our YouTube channel. Yeah, in this video, I'll be teaching you all these trading Zara berets or Boni berets, you know. So, many of you have been asking for the tutorial, and I just decided to upload it on my YouTube channel, not to give it for pay. Alright, so I'll be using Rossik. I used Yori Yori material here. Here, I use Yori Yori material. And this is my first time trying this. So I do not just want to jump into it and explain. That is why I first learned it. I just practiced it and that material before I concluded in giving to you. So you are welcome to my YouTube channel and to our own subscriber. Thank you for always clicking on our videos to watch. And if you are new on this channel, please subscribe before you leave. So I'll be using the Rossi fabric here. Rossi fabric. I know you are familiar with Rossi fabric. You can make use of your yo you can make use of any fabric that is stretchy. As long as it's stretchy, you can make use of it. You can make use of your yo that just like one I showed you now. You can make use of your any stretchy fabric, rossi. So this fabric, this um uh, Zara berets, you will need less than one yard, but it's better you get one yard from the market because you need more than half and you can get half yard. So this is the I have only cut everything together. This is only the piece of fabric I will be using. If there's any need, maybe to embellish or to how to hit, we can talk about it later. Okay, so the measurement I have here now is the S circumference side. Please pay attention to all these measurements and everything that will be teaching you here. This is uh, that be somehow technical if you if you don't pay attention. So from here to this place, the S circumference side I use 28 inches. The S circumference side I use 28 inches. 28 inches. Why the length? Now I use 30 inches. Please, I'm very sorry for this noise. I'm at the road side. So and my mic is not even waving away sound now. Please just uh bear with me. So the length now I use 30 inches. So in fold I have to change. Inches in full diameter, fifteen inches, and the legs all legs when it is open is thirty inches. And please, and please, this video will be long, so pay attention. Don't be in hurry. And you will also be making use of your what uh, your body. Some call it body, some call it bone. So this is a soybean one. It is soybean, and it is half inch. So you can make use of the one that is not soybean. You can make use of. I have four years here. If it is not enough, we will look for what to do. But I have four years. Four to five years will be enough for you to make your Zara cap. And this Zara cap will be having five legs and five steps. So the first thing to do now is to is to take it to my weaving machine and weave the hedge. Only one hand. Only one end of it. I will weave it. Just to have a neat work. I will weave it. I can even go ahead to weave the two ends because so that it will be easy for me when I want to sew. I will go ahead to weave the two ends. And if you don't have a weaving machine, you just fold it in just the way we do fold it twice like this and secure it. Now I have the two edges weaved. Okay, so we uh, the band has already been cutting together with this fabric. So if you want to cut it all separately, you just cut four inches separately and then later, later join it to it. But there's no need. That is stress. So this is what we'll be doing. Please pay attention. Um, to make the band, this is the right side of the fabric. Please pay attention. This is the right side of the fabric and this is the wrong side. So now you fold it like this. You fold four inches in like this. Four inches in. Four inches. Because our band is four inches. So you fold four inches like this. Then you pick it. You pick the four inches and you fold it back again. And so at the edge. Now, if you look at it, the band will be two inches. The band must be equal to two inches. Can you see? Let me repeat myself. This is the wrong side. This is the right side. And this is the wrong side. So fold in four inches. Fold in four inches. Four inches. 
after you have gotten your four inches you flip it you flip two inches in like this two inches take your measurement again to be ensure that you have two inches so after you have fold, folded in two inches use your office pin to trace it round you take it to your sewing machine then you sew at the head you sew it straight so by the time you sew you flip it and you have your band formed okay now so i have it sewn you can see it is neat outside both inside and outside and that is what i like i don't like when i'm seeing any sewing traces at the band now let's move on to the body great holes for our bony so this is what i did now after the band you take your measurement and nail out at uh, two inches two inches after the band two inches that is the space between the band and the first bony space now after the band print mark two inches mark it straight that will be the outside of your fabric so from the two inches you come forward again you mark another two inches so this first two inches now after the first inch two inches this first one that will be the space for the bony and now after the first after these two inches the interval between the space between one bony space and another to another bony is one and a half inches so you mark your you take your measurement and make one and a half inches one and a half inches so after one and a half inches you mark two inches let me try to get a book okay i've already done it on a book please look at it now this is the band which is this this is the band that you're already folded so after the band you mark a line of two inches after the ba bank after the band mark a line of two inches now after the first two inches mark another two inches so this and this and that two inches that is where your bony will force enter that is number one step can you see so after the number one step mark one and a half inches which will be between the first bony and the second bony so the interval will be one and a half inches so after the one and a half inches mark the space go come forward and mark another two inches for this and for another space for another space for the bony to enter that is the two second step step can you see so after the second step you mark one and a half inch again it's over the distance you get you move forward you mark two inches that is the third step you move forward you mark one and a half inches the interval the distance between the, set, the third and the fourth so that is how you will do it you can see let me explain again from the band after the band you mark two inches this two inches is empty you are not putting anything there so where your first step will start is under two inches here you mark and this is the two inches after the two inches mark one and a half inches this one and a half inches there will be nothing inside okay let me use this to, to explain so from here to here this one i use two inches so i'm saying you should use two inches now and we don't want it to be so after the band i mark two inches let me say two inches now so the two inches from here to this place i mark another two inches that is where my bony enter that is the first one now from here to here one and a half inches that is the system between the first bony and the second bony so under second bony now i mark two inches which i explain now so under one one and a half inches the third one mark two inches and that one one and a half inches the fourth one mark two inches and that one one and a half inches the fifth one two inches and you leave the remaining space that is clear please that is why i use my book to explain and that is what i will do now i've already marked it now what you are going to do is that after the band now you know i said you will make mark two inches and that the first two inches now you will pick it you will pick the first two inches now that means you are having one inch one inch at the back and one inch at the front you pick the two inches that means i don't know how i can explain better now okay let me let me use this this is the first step now this first step we want to sew so that our our body can go inside so you fold in the two inches you fold it into two equal parts that you will be able to see one inch from here to this line from here to this line one inch 
another one one inch at the back so you have two inches when it when it is opened now you will sew on this line you sew on this line you i do go on my uh, sewing machine to mark to i don't need marking i just use my temple so you go on it and sew it straight so after you have sewn it straight you pick you leave that one and a half inches on your fabric you go to these two inches which is going to be for the two second step you fold the two inches again into two equal parts at the middle in the short way that you have one inch at the front one inch at the back then you sew on that line you sew on that line then you also leave the second interval which is where one and a half inches you don't need that one you move on to the third step which is the two inches you fold in the two inches in a way that one inch will be on top another inch will be under so and you want to so so straight that is the same way you do so everything and that is what i usually do on my fabric so after i pick it now i will get my temple and mere one inch so with my help of my temple i don't usually shock with the help of my temple i can even i will be able to trace it down one inch then I will pick another one. That is how you're going to repeat everything to you form your five space, five steps. I hope that is this is clear. That's why I said the video is going to be long. Please make sure you subscribe. See how I'm shouting and stressing myself before you can be able to get it. And I pray that God will give you understanding. Okay, now I have everything so just the way I explained. Please let me try to. Explain again so because this is very important. After the band, you mark two inches. After the two inches, you mark another two inches. And by the time you sew, you now have one inch. So after the two inches, you have half in one and a half inches. Two inches, one and a half inches, two inches, one and a half inches. So and you have something like this. It's just like a body kit. Now I this will be too much for me. The 30 inches will be too much for me. I have reduced it now to 28 inches. To 28 inches. I'll go ahead to weave this part. So uh we are going to be starting our bony inside. Don't forget the type of bony I'll be using. Here I use the one that is not sewable, the thick one that is not sewable. So this one is so you can sew it. Now I'll be inserting this bony. There is a way the bony always comes. You can see the folded parts, the cuff parts. That is the way it should be. So the folded part now will be facing outside. You know that it will turn like this, facing here. No, the folded part will be facing outside, just like as you see now. So I will just insert. I will insert it now leaving one and a half inches so let me say one inch leaving one inch now i will let the distance the bone does not reach here so it is one inch is bigger than the bone and longer than the bone so i'll take it to my sewing machine and secure it and sew it down i can use your needle and thread to do that or your hot glue now I have sewn it down, so you sew it down like this with the bony. Don't just sew it alone, sew it down. Now after you're sewing it down, we the bony is still inside. So you try to, you know, the fabric is a stretchy fabric. You try to pull. Don't pull too much and don't let it too loose. You try to pull. Now you are pulling the what the, uh, the bone inside and you're stretching out your fabric this is stretchy fabric so that you can have this coffee effect you see so the more you pull the more you see it more coffee but when it is too coffee it is not it is not good so i don't really like it when it's old because it will be difficult for you to walk home all right so after you have sewn you leave about half inch and one inch so you cut it you sew it down and when you are sewing that don't forget sew it like this the way it falls like this you sew it down 
then you cut out the excess make sure the half one inch is still there don't let your body to reach this side one inch or one and a half inches so i'll go ahead to cut now and sew it down then move on to the second step the same thing applies to the second step repeat the same thing to the second step third step fourth step fifth step you insert your bony leave one and a half one inch now what i did is that this one is one and a half i make this one one and one, this one is one inch distance now where the bone is touched one inch i make this one one and quarter so so that it can be a little bit reduced to this i hope you are getting what i'm saying so the same thing applies to the second edge the second edge like this i will leave about one and a half quarter and one inch and quarter so try to adjust it try to pull your fabric so that you have the coffee so that you have that coffee effect now i'll cut it out and leave about one and a half quarter i want to one and one inch a quarter sorry about all the color this confusion so this same thing the same thing i will apply to everything and when i get to this third play, third step the distance i will leave will be half and one and a half inches so I can make that one and a half inches to be the same thing for the all the TV plates. So I'm done. I will do. I repeat everything the same thing. I'll come out to show you the next thing to do. Just make sure you take your time to insert the bone so I can achieve a good result. Right. So I have everything inserted. You see. So now um, uh, this is the edge. This is the edge. I've already cut the fabric. Okay, so this is the edge. Please don't mind me. I use no uh, machine thread because I don't see thread that machines this thing. So please, when you are doing this, make sure it is neat. Now I will take it to my weaving machine and weave this edge. So because after I after joining the two ends together, it will be difficult for me to weave. So I don't want any any struggle struggle. So I will go and weave this edge. So there is no need of any weaving again after I weave the two edges. The end of the, the <laughs> tutorial. So take the band, let the band face each other. You can have you might have a little struggle with this part. So just take your time. Mm -hmm. Take your time. This one is even better than that you you hey, that you, you was giving me a tough time. So take your measurement. You can take your measurement before doing your before inserting the uh, what is it called now? The bone inside. You can take the measurement of your band to make it easy for you. So I'll take the measurement now. I'll be using ten inches from here to here. I'll be using ten inches because this is a fabric, and so that can be very firm on the head. So I will use 10 inches. Let us zoom. This is 10. I can't find my table. But let me do this. Let us zoom. This is 10 inches now. So I will sew straight. When I sew straight, you know the two inches we left that follows the band. I will sew straight like this and go like this. Then come to this side. Come to the where the body starts. Now where the body starts must align with each other. Must align with each other. You see, that is why I said you should place it falling down so that by the time you are sewing this, it will be easy for you. Lay the one on top and line with the one under. One, the first step, align with the first step. The second step, align with the second step. The third step, align with the third step. The fourth step, align with the fourth and fifth step, align with each other. And then sew at the edge. Sew at the edge straight. You can move your sewing close to the the bony i hope that is clear so for the back where there is nothing we ca you can just cough it the way you cough your turban you sew it in a cough way the way you cough your turban do you understand so you sew it in a cough way the way you cough your turban and sew everything close everything up by half inch can you see that so there's no need of we weaving again Now I'm cutting the excess at the band side. 
for you. Just go ahead to weave it to make your work neat. Your work neat. So after you are done, take your needle and thread. Don't be your thread inside your needle and start your own stitch from this end. Some people start their own from this end. Some people start it from after the band. So I'll start mine from here. So the one stage will be from here to this end. So you can still go ahead outside and make it firm. Or well, that's inside part, you make it firm. Don't sew it. You do your needle and trade. All right, now let's see how it's going to look. On our mannequin so let's first wear the first and beautiful step first a beautiful style I mean. so you can see the way as you can see the 10 inches is firm on the head and that is what we want so you can see the first is a style can you see how beautiful it looks Look at the back. Look at the side view. Look at the back. Can you see how it's very neat? Seriously, I love it. Let me show you something. This is my first time trying it. I couldn't really get it the way I wanted. And first, what did I use? Secondly, the bony. That I use the bony is the soyable, the not soyable one. So can you see? But this of that was come out very, very beautiful and neat. You see the back? You see the side view and you see the front. There's no need of okay, adjust it to the front, adjust it to the left. Okay, you see, beautiful. So I really thank God for this wisdom that gave to me. Okay, so let us move on to the under design. Under style, you can see I don't move the band. I just pop this one to this side, pop this one to this side, pop this one. Okay, you see on that one, you can bring it to the front very well. So you see, so that is on that one. So for the Zara card they are talking about, just lift the band up a little and bring it to the front. So you adjust it to the front. So if there is need of you tacking this, you can go ahead to tack and it just there's just it's just about adjustment. You see, let me it's just about adjustment. You can adjust it like this. You can just use your office pin, a safety pin or office, I mean office pin or needle and trade to just hold it down. If you want it stable, you see, if you want it stable, you just hold it down. And if you want it lifted up like this, you just leave it like that. So I, I hope that is clear. So it all depends on what you want. This can be styled in different ways. And you can see that this my method is very easy to learn. Very easy. So let me show you another one again. Another one is that you put the front, the back to the front. So the front, the back will be at the front, and you pull it back. You see, this also is very, very beautiful. Can you see? Look at it. Ah, in fact, the camera is not even justifying it the way I wanted. But you see how it comes out nice. You will love it. So, if you want it attached, you can. Just hold it with your needle and thread. 
So look at the side view and look at the back. See how curvy it looks and neat. So I have my challenge, and this is the challenge. The four yards I got was not enough. So I later got one inch, one yard, and the one yard it was smaller than. Let me show you something. The first one I used was one half inch, and this second one is a quarter. So it is advisable to use this half inch. You can see the length. It makes it come out better than the last one I used, quarter. So make use of this and make use of the soybean one. If you are not able to get the soybean one, then you can buy the one that it cannot be sold. But this soybean one makes sense. I love it. Okay, so if there's any other style that comes to my mind, I will show you. You see another one. Ah, 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 ah. This is coming out to find better, beautiful. So... Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!